So the following exercise is an exercise that I believe is Feldenkrais based. And I'm not sure what its actual name is, but I like to call it functional walking because it is really useful. It's a useful warm up for walking and just to correcting any imbalances in the body that might be related to walking. It's an exercise that anybody can do. So regardless of even if you have an injury, it should be fairly pain-free. And if you do have an injury, you definitely want to consult with a doctor or if you're not sure, set up a private with me. Um, anybody can do this exercise and it's a really great warm-up and just really great for your neuromuscular system. So we're going to start by lying on our back. And again, Feldenkrais exercises tend to be really subtle, so it can be hard to see. Um, the movements, so I'll describe them the best of my ability. And the important thing with these exercises is that you pay attention to how they feel in your body and what muscles are you feeling. So the first thing we're going to do is you're just going to take your right heel and you're going to press it down into the floor. And then you're going to relax. And then you're going to take your left heel and press it down into the floor. So all I'm doing is I'm taking one heel and I'm really pushing it down like I'm trying to make it heavier on the floor and then the other one. And I want you to notice when you do this, what muscles are you feeling? So just feel in your body what is activating when you do this. And I'm going to give you a second to just notice in your own body what that is, because that's the best way to learn. So just keep pressing one side and then the other side. And then what we are actually feeling for is your glutes. So you want to feel it when you press your heel down, you want to feel your butt working. You may also feel your hamstring a little bit and your quads, so back of thigh and front of thigh, but what we're really going for is the glutes. You want to make sure that you're feeling that. And if for any reason you're not feeling that, then go ahead as you press your heel down, just squeeze your glute because we do want to rewire our nervous system to make sure that our glutes are working when we're walking. It's really important and a lot of times people just lose that. So just keep pressing right to left and then do a little side to side comparison when you press the right side down what does that feel like in your glute how much can you feel contracting is it a really clear sensation or is it a little bit fuzzy and then check with the left side and notice if there's a difference and oftentimes there is a difference you might be really balanced and they might feel the same um, but it might just feel like one side is more clear or contracting more strongly or more fully and whichever side you feel less strongly, you're just going to go ahead and repeat that side. So the side that is a little bit weaker for me is my left side. So I'm just going to press into my left heel and really squeeze my left glute and relax. I'm going to do that a few times. You want to repeat this at least four times, four to eight times on the side that feels weaker to you. And you're just going to contract. Press into your heel, feel the sensation in your body, what that feels like, and relax completely. It does also help sometimes just to touch the muscles. So you can kind of feel, sometimes you have to poke a little bit. I have a little bit of meat here, so I have to kind of press through that. But just so you can get that connection between your mind and your body of what muscle is firing. So once you've done the side that felt weaker repeatedly, go ahead and alternate again. And just notice if they're feeling a little bit more balanced. Sometimes you get pretty close, sometimes you may have even overcorrected slightly, in which case do a couple of reps on the side. If you feel the other side weaker now, do a couple of reps there. And we want to get to the point where they're firing pretty equally. And then once you've gotten to that point, just relax your arms down by the sides, relax your shoulders. And I know I'm looking at the camera, um, but I would like you to be looking straight up at the ceiling so that your body's nice and balanced. I like to connect with the audience, so I'm going to look at the camera. So now, when when you're doing this, keep pressing into one heel, contracting that glute, and then the other heel, and allow the rest of your body to be really relaxed, and just notice, when you do this, what else are you feeling in your body? Just close your eyes, and notice if you're feeling any weight shifts, what's happening in your spine, what's happening in your rib cage. Notice if you feel anything in your shoulders. And you're not contracting anything up there. You're just noticing how this movement translates from your pelvis into your upper body. 
Just take a minute to notice that. And what I want you to look for is a weight shift. So when you press into one foot and you're contracting that glute, can you feel the weight shifting in the upper body? And is it shifting into the same shoulder or the other shoulder? And ultimately what we want is we want the weight to shift across the body into the opposite shoulder. So when I'm pressing into my left heel, my left glute activates, my right shoulder gets a little bit heavier. It's pretty subtle. You probably can't see it, but you'll be able to feel it. And when I press into my right heel, my right glute activates and my left shoulder gets heavier. And that's something, don't force that to happen. Allow it to happen. Allow your body to be really relaxed. Allow the muscles around the spine to release so that you can really just allow that natural movement to happen. And when you start noticing a weight shift, check how it is from one side to the other side. So it goes across the body. So when you're pressing into your right heel, you want to feel that weight shifting into the left upper rib cage or the left shoulder. And when you're pressing into your left heel, it's into the right side. So it goes across the body. And some people might feel this lower. Some people might feel this all the way into the shoulder. Some people might only feel it maybe into the rib cage. It's totally fine, whatever it is. Just allow it to happen. And notice if it feels equal from side to side. So when you press into your right heel, can you feel the weight shift into your left rib cage shoulder? And where does the weight shift? And when you press into the left heel, can you feel it into the right rib cage shoulder? And do they shift into the same place on each side? Now, if you notice that one side is more connected than the other side, like you really clearly can notice the weight shift, you can feel it happening in your body, then I encourage you to do the side you don't feel as strongly. So for me, that side would be pressing into my left heel, left glute, into the right shoulder. So if you did notice one side, you're just going to repeat the side that felt weaker at least four times, you know, usually four to eight times. If it felt balanced to you, then keep alternating. Okay, so I believe that's five times for my weaker side. And I'm going to alternate again. And again, make sure that you're looking straight up at the ceiling when you're doing this. Now notice that actually balanced it out for me. And that is the functional walking exercise. This is a really great warm-up before you're about to go for a walk. And it's also anytime you have any kind of back problems or even shoulder problems going on, this is a really good exercise to help reconnect the, the nervous system, the brain, to the muscles in your body to get everything firing equally and in a nice balanced fashion. So you'll be surprised. You could do this exercise. You can come into it in a little bit of pain and come out of it totally fine. And uh, that is functional walking.